trying to say, and you remember that, that's where, you know, that put it upside down, that if you remember on, on Sunday morning, we are talking about the, the what a, a leader stands for, and the leader is going, is the guy who is showing the way, who is, who is having a vision, and who is going to put some objectives. And if you remember, just playing back what you were saying, you know, stretch objectives, realistic objectives, okay? So the objectives are going to be what? Okay, I'm CEO of the bank. Financial. Yeah, so financial is what? I'm trying to find... Measurable. Yeah, but here this is the qualification. I'm looking for what kind of objectives? Like, uh, financial, non-financial. Yeah, it's financial, profit, uh, customer, uh, operating profit. Okay, how do we call profit, market share, number of customers? Financial objectives. Uh, number of products for customers. Everything you have on your things, how do we call them? Measurable. Quantitative. Okay? What's the other one? Qualitative. Qualitative. Is it Im as important as the as the quantitative? Yeah. 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 Very important. Out of that will come what? The culture of the bank. You know, after five years of developing that plan will come the culture. What is the second element that we are going to do? What did you do this morning? You remember these three pages? Yeah. Why was it important? The Michael Porter thing, which you have found, you know, in, in a business school, you have found several types of, of these uh, things. The, the BCG matrix is roughly the same. Uh, there's, there was McKinsey because they always copy each other. There was the Porter one. There is a Michael Salter one. Okay, they all roughly the same. And you can design your own. So, what was what is that element here? I'd say where I want to go, right? What do I need to describe? Uh, what did we do this morning? Uh, I want to get there. Where we are? Where we are? This morning it was where we are. Okay. So, what are we describing where we are? I go back a little bit to your theory. Okay, you are using, you remember that matrix? With the definition. So the first one is to do the right things, but the second one is to do the right things right. And efficiency is follow the procedures. Create process. When you don't have a process, create one. So to make sure that you are increasing efficiency. Understand the reality, and it was mentioned again this morning. Clean up. There are a lot of things we love legacy system. We love a lot of things which are not useful. Uh, when I arrived in the branches in Hong Kong, we were receiving 21 reports every morning, okay? We were reading two maximum, okay? So by just delivering uh, 19, we were first saving the last forest which was exi existing in Hong Kong. And, and uh, secondly, we were saving a lot of time as well yeah. and money. So clean up and become personally more efficient, okay? And that was one of your things the word personal, so it was not like, I will say that my organization has to be efficient. I will start with myself. And that's why I said, you know, in your feedback, you were very realistic, you were very personal. And I really appreciate that. Third, I will do things better. Constant improvement. You remember that always? Okay. So you are constant. Constant improvement. Things about what we are doing. So reflect. Don't be bogged down by all the realities of the day. Take the helicopter view from time to time. Take some attitude, okay? Reflect. <coughs> Find ways to improve products, processes, but other things as well. As well. <coughs> Efficiency of our meetings. Make sure the meeting starts on time, finish on time. You have an agenda that you have action points. You have dates of delivery. Just doing that, you will see how you can, you can do things much better. Listen to suggestions. There is one thing we don't do well, managers. We don't listen. You know, we don't, don't waste time to it my way. Okay? That's our usual sentence. But you were saying, many of you said, I will listen. And I, I found that great. I will help coach, mentor. So I will not only be a better person, a better leader, but will help other people doing it. 
And that's very important, and I was very glad to see that. The fourth thing, I, the fourth idea I, I got from your feedback was, I will do away with things. So these are my, my translation, right? These are your uh, things, so cut it. And you ask why? That's one thing we don't know. We are, we are used in, in, in processes. That's the way we do things in this bank. How many times I've heard that? And nobody says, why? What does it bring? What's the value of that? And if you start cutting, if you start thinking, if you are asking why, you are going to make a lot of progress. Because when you cut things, you will be able to do other things. Your second point, which came from many, many forms, simplified. So maybe it's a word we use during the, the, the presentations, but simplified. We do things complex because we think we are smarter. Okay? And the complexity is the less we understand the reality. Okay? And we saw that with the multi-regression <coughs> analysis we are talking about. Okay? And we focus on the we continuous basis. And that goes back to strategy, you were mentioning it. Strategy leads to focus and to make sure that we are doing the right things. Okay. The fifth point uh, I picked, and you see we are always one, one level higher. I will be doing what other leaders are doing. It's adapting, okay? And if I want to jump here, it's copying. Why are the Japanese so good in the car industry today, in the, in the electronic industry, in the photographic equipment? It's because they copied. Go back to the Toyotas and Mazdas and Nissan. It was not even Nissan, it was Datsun, you know, 30 years ago. They were a piece of shit, right? Let's put it that way. What did they do? They took what was in Europe, what was in America, and they copied. And God, the copy was not good, okay? And they improved. How did they develop the camera? They took all what was existing in Germany. And all these brands have disappeared. Zeissikon, Becklander, you don't even know about, about these brands. These were super brands. Hasselblad still exists, but very, it's a very niche uh, thing. And they copied it. And why did they succeed? Because they are passionate about it. The Japanese are passionate about you know, taking pictures. <coughs> they are passionate about electronic equipment. They are passionate about the cars. So there are two things here we have to learn, you know. How do we copy? How do we look around? And, and how do we uh, copy what other leaders are doing? We observe, we notice. All these are your words. I will observe, I will notice. Um, study best practices. Copy and adapt. Adapt is important as well. Because you copy, but you have to go back to your reality. And sometimes you tweak. 